dear students it is lecture number 2 chemistry of lanthanides in this lecture we will discuss the following topics electronic configuration of lanthanides lanthanide contraction what are the causes of lanthanide contraction and what are the consequences of lanthanide contraction in this lecture we first start the trick to write the electronic configuration of lanthanides students as you know that electronic configuration of lanthanides is written in the sequence 4f then 5d then 6s how many electrons are to be placed can be explained in this way as given in the table first write the elements in sequence from cesium to lutetium in row number 2 write the atomic number of all elements 58 59 to 71 and third row is written in this sequence 1 to 14 but cross the number 2 as shown in the table and 8 the these two numbers which are cra have been crossed shows that these two numbers are not filled in f sub shell how electrons in f 4f sub shell are to be filled let us check the row number 4 electron in f sub shell in first element one electron seventh element seven electron bolded here and in 14th ele element 14 electrons in f sub shell now in other sub shell in other elements how many electrons are to be filled in f sub shell promethium 3 not to 1 then 3 4 5 6 7 again 7 which has already placed 7 and 14 not 8 9 7 not 8 9 tb 10 dysprosium 11 12 13 14 14 14 was already placed so in row number 4 7 14 in seventh element seven electron must be placed in f sub shell and in 14th element 14 are placed but two numbers are not used in filling the f sub shell in first element 1 in f 3 not 2 4 5 6 7 7 9 not 8 10 11 12 13 14 14 and 14. i repeat again electron in f sub shell 1 then the cross 2 will be missed in next 3 1 3 4 5 6 7 this 7 which have been bolded and 14 bolded these are written first of all then other electrons are written it means in cesium 4f contain one electron promethium 3 not 2 which have been crossed 4 5 6 7 7 9 8 10 etc up to 14 how many electron in s 6 s2 in all cases 2 2 2 2 2 how many electron in d must be placed in first one seventh one 14th one all other d sub shall have zero how the, the number of d electron can be calculated the formula used is xenon atomic number of xenon plus in last row check the last row left side xenon plus electron in f you know 1 cesium 2 in promethium and 2 and 8 have been crossed these number are not used in f sub shell electron in d to be calculated plus electron in s that is 2 is equal to atomic number of the element for example cesium 54 xenon 1 in f check in table cesium 1 in f 
x number of lactan and d are to be calculated to n s is equal to 58 x plus 57 is equal to 58 x is equal to 58 minus 57 is equal to 1 it means one lactan in cerium in which subshell 5d1 in next slide all calculations have been shown check these calculation carefully and make your concept clear for writing the electronic configuration i repeat again in first element cerium in seventh and in 14th element lutetium one electron are placed in d subshell all other d subshell are empty having zero electron the d subshell which one d subshell 5d subshell now i have completed the electronic configuration of cerium 58 match it with the table which is used to explain the trick fail all other yourself you will succeed inshallah now read this slide carefully i read just two or three lines from the above electronic configuration it can be seen that a lanthanum 5d orbital is singly occupied but after lanthanum further filling of 5d orbital is discontinued in certain cases in many cases they contain one electron etc read this slide carefully everything will be clear about the electronic configuration now we discuss the lanthanide contraction the lanthanide contraction is greater than expected decrease in atomic radii and ionic radii of element in lanthanide series from atomic number 57 to 71 or the decrease in atomic radii or ionic radii of lanthanides as we move from left to right in this series is called this decrease is called lanthanide contraction why lanthanide contraction occurs check this diagram the size atomic radii of the lanthanide decreases as we move from lanthanum to lutetium or cerium to lutetium why lanthanide contraction occurs there are many reasons number one as we move from left to right after every step one proton is increased in the nucleus it means as we move from left to right in lanthanide series the nucleus become powerful on moving from left to right in this series the 4f subshell electrons have poor shielding effect as a result of it the nucleus apply stronger attraction over the valence electron as a result of it electron clouds slightly shrink this shrink in size this shrink in electron cloud results the lanthanide contraction what are the consequences of lanthanide contraction atomic size the atomic size of third transition is near nearly same as second transition series difficulty in separation of elements the atomic radii are almost same so the separation of element from their compound is difficult effect of strength of hydroxides as we move from left to right the atomic size goes on decreasing this decrease increase the covalent character in hydroxides complex formation due to high nuclear charge and small size the complex formation ability increases from left to right in transition series and electronegativity almost matched to s block elements it increases from lanthanum to lutetium thank you repeat it again and again and clear your concept